Okay, I'll join you tomorrow. That's great. Are you upset or something? No, it's nothing. My grandfather is feeling sick. Oh. Wish him well. AJ, bring your cousin tomorrow, huh? Yes, bring him. I think that he's very cool. He doesn't really like going out very much. He likes reading a lot. Hello, Julia. Are you available? I am working, but I can listen. You didn't answer the phone when I called you before. Ah, uh, well, I must have been in a meeting and then I forgot to call you back. Is something wrong? The police called me yesterday about Ali Han. Did something happen? He's here, Julia. He didn't go abroad. How is that so? And how do they know this? He stayed in a hotel over in Oxarai, and they found the records there. He's alone, and he is well. Is there something else? There's nothing else. There were no security cameras, so they don't know where he came from or where he went right after he left. Are you listening? Uh, I am. Uh, I think I'm just surprised. Remember when we had dinner at the farm? Do you remember that I ran outside because I thought that I had seen Ali Han after you got there? He was there. Can you believe it? Don't be silly. You saw yourself. There was no one. I am so sure, Julia. He was there. Are you sure that you didn't see him? Uh -huh. are, are you crazy, Denise? Wouldn't I tell you if I saw him? I don't know anymore. The farm's not that big. I mean... You must have come across him on the property. Didn't you see his car or something? Uh, no, I didn't. What, do you want me to lie to you? Okay, please don't get mad. And you would ask the same questions if you were in my shoes. Ugh, whatever. There is something else I want to talk to you about, though. What is it, Julia? I can't talk on the phone. I will visit and then we'll talk. How is H.A.? Ugh, don't ask. You know, H.A. has a friend around here named Mustafa. You saw him before. He's a nice guy, very handsome. Well, someone stabbed Mustafa while they were heading back home from the bus, and H.A. is in shock. Uh, uh. Um, okay. I will come by right after I'm done with work. Okay, my dear. I'll see you. Selma, are you out doing all the shopping? Well, you're pregnant and everyone's at home. I don't mind it at all, and I wanted to get out a bit. Uh, you'll see how it will be soon, but let's wait and see. What are you saying, Fikrie? I'm confused. Oh, well, I'm only saying that changing your home is good. Maybe you'll go back to your father's house soon. You really just accept everything they do, Selma, don't you? Your husband loves Denise. And now they're both working together, and now they're always together. Oh! Denise is the most decent woman I think I've ever met. And Marat is just being a good friend. <sighs> but then again, it is normal for you to not understand because your mind works in a different way than most of ours do. Of course. You should be thankful for what I say. I only wish that you could be as smart about the world as I am now. Whatever. You can just enjoy being pregnant when you go back to your father's house. Really, think, girl. What else can you do? You just think about that. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, God forbid. They couldn't find the girl yet. Both of them couldn't manage to do the job. Don't get so upset, Salmanaga. We are suffering because of this shame. I can't even go out anymore. She'll be found dead or alive. No. This cannot continue. They can't manage this. How long has passed? Look, you should relax. Let's just change the subject. I'm thinking of buying a horse. Where do you guys get yours from? Do you know a breeder? Yes, yes I do. Marat, Mr. Marat. Come here now, will you? Yes, sir. Go down to my office and find Mr. Marat's number and bring it. Go on. Hello, Julia. What's up? I'm fine. And you? Is something wrong? Well, I wanted to say the violets really worked. Denise loved them. She loved them. You know, I can't thank you enough. You are just the best, Julia. Oh, you are welcome. I'm so happy that it worked. I will apply the other tactic as soon as possible. And if it works this well, if this works, I'll do whatever you ask me. Oh, there's no need. I just want you to be happy, and that is it. Oh, one thing. You can help me by making peace with Marat. Don't forget. Don't you worry. I'll be glad to handle it. Okay. I'm curious to see how skillful you are. Bye. The meatball sauce is delicious. Could you slice those a little thicker? It loses vitamins when it's too thin. I have been cooking for years. Don't you tell me how to do it. You stop teaching me! Of course. Do it however you like, then. But it won't be here. Everything will be done the way that I tell you. You'll do it like that. Wow, oh, man. She is a tough one, isn't she? What are you doing? Now we'll see who's tough. <laughs> <laughs> you will win this time. <laughs> yes, Samanaka. I just thought of you suddenly. So I'm calling to see how you are. Where are you staying now? I move around. Who knows where I'll be next? Ah. So where are you now? 
Why are you asking me this? I'm looking for a horse. Do you have any right now? I don't. But I can give you a number and you can ask directly. He has a couple of good horses in his stable. I'll send his number. Come on. He's been living like this for a while. He just sent me the number. Hello? Is this Nevzat Gusel? Yes, it's me. I was just referred to you. I'm looking for a horse, so I'm calling you. Do you have one available? Yes, of course. What features are you looking for? Can you fill me in, please? And, uh, who recommended you then? Mirat. Mirat Yavuz. Do you know him well? Of course. We've been working together a while now. Ah. Where are you located? The Riva Horse Farm. Where is that? Bakos, Istanbul. So can you send the address to me? Hi, welcome, Orhan. Thanks a lot, Sir Khan. Thank you. Isn't Denise here now? Do you want me to go get her? No. She'll be out soon. Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Orhan. Mr. Orhan? Sorry, Mrs. Denise, I didn't hear you. Are you reading Samal Saraya? I am. He's my favorite poet. Oh, he's mine too. Is he really? Really? He's the best. There's none better. He expresses feelings so intimate that you can feel it. He does indeed, of course. What's going on? Mr. Orhan is a fan of Samal Saraya, like me. So which is your favorite poem? My breath is like the red bird. A good one. My breath is like the red bird. Your hair is wonderful brown hair. I take you on my lap. Or, or something like that. Actually, they're all good. Listen, do you want to know which poem that I have always liked the most? The shortest route between two hearts. Two arms which reach out for each other and hardly touch each other with fingers. I wish I, wish I, love, I love you just, just for, for all this. this. can't get full with poems. I've been hungry a while. What do you have to eat? Uh, uh, um, well, there are some meatballs and a pasta with cheese and an ice cream salad, too. And there's pudding for dessert. That's great. I'd love to have it all. 
It seems you love everything. You better watch out. Or you'll start hating things. Well, I'll go and get the food. Do you want to eat? Why did you just make me look bad? You should just be honest and act like yourself. I am honest. Is it ready? Well, here you are. Does it look like how you want it, Mrs. Denise? This looks nice. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. I'm so glad that I was able to please you. <laughs> welcome. Thanks, Sir Khan. Thank you. Thank you so much. I believe the flowers, but I didn't know you liked poems. I like to read, and I like poems. I always read poems at night. I light candles, and you know that I like romance. Tell me five poets. Uh... Samil Sureya. Sureya, it's Sureya. Sureya. That's it. Um... Laurent Valley. Hmm. 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 Could you take these out to them? Okay, thank you. Hmm. Here's your food now. Thanks so much. Please enjoy it. Thank you. So, aren't you eating? Maybe in a while, but you enjoy it. Looks delicious. Always awesome. It's nice and thick. I am sure you're a good gourmet too, Orhan. Of course, and I tasted too many meals while I was single. You know. What happened? What happened? <coughs> mm. <coughs> what is it? It's a little bit salty. Maybe it's extremely salty. No, it can't be. And I tasted it myself. Hmm. Denise? 
Wait a minute. Denise? <laughs> you think what you did is funny? What are you talking about? We were only telling jokes. <laughs> I can't believe you're grown-ups. I can't believe it whenever I have to tell you something. What did we do? Halil, what is she saying? <laughs> if you think you're a man, you shouldn't do anything you can't claim. Just be respectful. I've had enough. You wouldn't do any of this if these were your customers, would you? And if you ever do anything like this again, I mean, you will need to talk to Nevzet. Halil, dice two potatoes in hot water. I need to fix this. Of course, I'm on it. Can you pass me two plates, Sir Khan? Take this pasta and tell them the meal will be ready in about five minutes. Tell me what you're doing here. Never mind. I know that you were behind it. Mustafa's hurt because of you. Look at me. Do you want some trouble? What are you gonna do, huh? Are you gonna stab me too? Come on, do it now! Get away from me and leave me alone, all right? Do you think that you're going to get away with this? I know that you're selling drugs. And you grabbed my watch too. I think I'll report you. You will go to jail for hot... Hey, slow down. Now, will you pull up over there? Excuse me? What do you need? I think I know you. You're H.A.'s driver, right? I'm not her driver. She just wanted me to drive her to school, that's all. Yeah, uh, how do you even know her? I saw you standing over here. And I think we might have something in common. We both don't like H.A. She's in our neighborhood. Her father went bankrupt. They're staying as guests at Marat's. She's lying all the time. So Marat is not her uncle then. But then, who's Mustafa? He's from there. He's only the cobbler's son. So where is the neighborhood? Hello, H.A.? Where are you? I'm at the hospital. I'm going to see Mustafa now. Did you give him my message? I told him, but he said nothing. Okay, then. I'm coming. I'll come to the hospital myself. Better not. Look, Ibrahim is still mad, and he shouldn't see you here. I think you should listen to me. Look, just look out for yourself. So how is school going? And is everything all right? How are Karimchen and Mug?
So you thought she'd come? My son. She hasn't even come here once. She must be moving on. Be honorable. Don't let her make you a fool. today, Mustafa? Better. Let me take a break, since Fegan's here. Do you need anything? No, thank you. So, thank God you're looking much better. You scared us very much. Have you seen H.A.? She was here during your surgery, and then she left. But I told her you were okay. She was relieved. I'm happy. That was because she was scared. Not really. She's all over that. And we just talked on the phone. She's going to meet her boyfriend tomorrow. She was worried about what to wear. Yes, I am taking a taxi home. Okay, Mom, don't exaggerate. Mustafa. My mother is angry with me because I told you about Farhat. And I think your father is annoyed too. I am texting you so that I don't cause any problems. I can't get there. But I am thinking of you. Believe me, I'm so sorry. Stay away from my son. Do you get that? Just stay away from Mustafa if you don't want to make it a big deal. Did you give him my message? I told him, but he said nothing. Follow that taxi that stopped up by the traffic light. But don't make it obvious. She said there was this girl at school, I think her name was Mug, and she always had to deal with her. Mug saw her getting on the bus, and then she told everyone at school. H.A. said it was a lie, but she was so worried. She thought it might get out, and she was so afraid. We talked about leaving school, and so that's why I talked to Farhad or I wouldn't know him at all. I am here. Go on, honey, before it gets too late. Okay. I'll visit you tomorrow. And remember to call me if you need anything. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow, Ibrahim. Thank you, dear. Okay, now let's check your blood pressure. Your girlfriend has cried for you quite a lot, and she didn't go anywhere. Who? The girl who just left the room. Isn't she your girlfriend? Thank you. The it cake is great. delicious. Thank you so Thanks. much. Mm -hmm. Ah, Nejat, what a nice surprise. Welcome back. Here's something for a very special and precious friend. You are so kind to me, Nejat, and thank you. Won't you sit down? Ah. What would you like to drink, hmm? Tea, coffee, whatever you want. No, 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 I'm fine. Let's just talk. Of course. Are you okay here? You're looking happy. Of course I am, Nejad. Look around. Such peace and calmness and horses. And Murad is here too. I'm so happy. You 
really, truly deserve to be happy, Denise. Now, I want to talk to you about Ali Khan. I thought he might have perhaps gone abroad illegally. Maybe that's why the police couldn't find him at all. Nejat, he's here. What? He's in Turkey. And I'm sorry that I forgot to tell you this much earlier. The police called me. Ali Han had booked a room in a hotel in Aksurai, but they don't know where he went after that. He's probably just hiding somewhere. Remember when we had dinner here all together the other night? Nishat, well, I saw Ali Han here that night. Oh my God. You remember that Julia got here after us. I saw him and I asked her if she had two, but she said no. Can you slow down, please? Okay, I'm coming. I will see you soon. Let's go on and stop at the gate ahead. Okay, we can go. <laughs> Mother, I don't really want to go to school. Can I come with you? Oh, Ozan, dear, you know that we talked about that. You can't. Everyone has a duty. But, Mother, I miss you so much. You won't be at home when I get here later. Oh, please don't say that. You won't be alone. There's Grandpa. Selma will also be here when you get back. But I've also missed the horses, too, you know. But the weather outside is so cold, Ozan. We go there on weekend. And when the weather is warm, we can go, okay? Hello there. Come in. Come in. I've finished, Mrs. Denise. Great. Come. Huh. I will take a look. Oh, thank you. These look so great. Selma, just look. These are totally wonderful. Let me look. <laughs> they 
are awesome. You did a great job, thanks. Check them to make sure they're right. I can change them if needed. You did such a wonderful <laughs> job. <laughs> Very good. Denise, I can't believe how wonderful these came out. Shall I have one done for our kitchen, maybe? I still have some leftover fabric. Oh, it would look so good in there. I'd be so happy. I love it. Selma, hmm? look at the curtains. Hmm, that looks so wonderful. Excellent. So? I said she was meeting her boyfriend and she was worried about what to wear. Oh, you did well. Good for you, you're very smart. Now you should visit him tomorrow and say that you just washed and ironed his pajamas and that you brought them to him personally. And then I will cook some soup for my handsome future son-in-law. <laughs> so, Mother, hmm. a part of this story is true and a part of it is a lie. Isn't this wrong, maybe? What? I don't know, but then, isn't it like fraud? Haven't I taught you the end justifies the means, Fegan? I don't agree. How can we call this love if I can only get it by cheating? And if we get caught, we will be disgraced. You talk back to me whenever I say that you're exactly like your aunt. You do whatever you want. So give that boy to that witch. God, if I were your age, if I could only be that young again. Oh my goodness, God. Oh, Fegan, what I wouldn't give if I were only back in your shoes again. I would do everything I could to steal Mustafa's heart, and then I would make myself very comfortable. Oh, but you don't know. Oh, how lucky you are. Yeah, but you didn't steal Marat's heart. Oh, Mother. Oh, Mother. I'm sorry. Look, I didn't mean that at all. Mother! Leave me alone. Dear, you're going to get the new pillows dirty. <laughs> Maybe that's Marat. Hello there. Hey, welcome, Julia. Thanks a lot. There, Mr. Mamet. Hello, dear. What's up there, kiddo? All right, so let me give you the good news. I have arranged a group for tomorrow. A group for what? There's a girl who's a customer representative in our bank, and tomorrow is her birthday. They were looking for a place to celebrate, and I suggested your cafe. So then, 10 or 12 people will be there. Do you mean that? Mm -hmm. uh, oh my, that is wonderful. It is. But they don't want a big meal, though. They want snacks or appetizers, some mm -hmm. nice finger foods. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, my friend, she could make the cake, too. Uh, so you'll have to do that. Do you think you can handle it? Well, of course. Oh, I'm so happy, Julia. Thank you. You're welcome. Is H.A. in her room? Yes, she's in her room. Oh, good. I'll go on up and visit her, and then I'll come back down and see you. Mm -hmm. Oh, two kinds of cake should be just enough. 
I think I should start to prepare them tonight. For example, I should prepare stuffed grape leaves. That's because I can't get it done if I wait till tomorrow. And what else should I make? And I can help you with everything, Denise. Oh, Selma, would you? Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I can prepare some meatballs, and then we can fry them tomorrow. I would like to eat some meatballs, Sister Selma. Of course you can have some meatballs, too. You come here. You're so sweet. 